people used to think that it was preserved in urine because it has an ammonia smell. <laughs> oh, no wonder you didn't want it. True. <laughs> no, true. It's, oh! It's, it's oh! Been, I don't know what's the oh, it stinks. preserved. Okay, I'm, it, e um, I'm eating this and then I'm taking it out of the room. Oh my God, it stinks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You ready? Oh God. <laughs> Ooh, hello guys! We've got Blondie in China and Blondie in China's mum, Amy and Joe, here with us today. Hello. Hello. hello! hello! And we've got a really extra special video today. It is Blondie in China's mum versus British mum, China <laughs> general knowledge quiz, but with some added spice. It's a stinky food forfeit challenge. <laughs> For but, us. but don't worry, don't <laughs> worry, because both myself and Amy love our mums, we're going to be the ones that are going to be eating the stinky food. Oh, so you, you can relax. That's a great <laughs> relief. Thank you very much. Before we start, though, can we first just say hello? So nice to see you guys. Hey, nice to see you. It's so nice to make this video with you and connect. And it's so cool because, you know, you make videos there on the other side of the world with your mum. And I'm making videos with my mum in Australia at the moment. So it's really cool. Uh, I feel like we have a lot in common. <laughs> yes, it's lovely. Yeah, absolutely. And we're big fans of Blondie in China's yeah. channel. Yeah. We love the oh, fact oh. that, Amy, you have all of your family involved. Uh, we like to do the same. And obviously you're a China expert. And <laughs> yeah, Amy, can I just ask you, will you briefly tell us about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm Amy. I, um, I'm from the channel Blondie in China. I've been YouTubing for a couple of years now. And yeah, I've been in and out of China for the last five, six years. And kind of the first time I went was 2014. And I was like, wow, what is this magical place? And I've just been kind of going back and forth ever since. And I'm actually about to head over again next week. Yeah, like this time next week, I'll be on a flight, um, which is really crazy. But mm -hmm. I, you know, I've been here in Australia for the last year making videos with mum and dad, which has been such a blessing, but it's time to go back and um, go back to China and yeah, keep learning. And you're on China Bridge, is that right? Which is the... Yes, I <laughs> I was on Chinese Bridge um, back when my Chinese wasn't very good. Not that my Chinese is good now, but um, yeah, it was quite an experience and kind of the thing that encouraged me to get onto social media in general. So I guess that's kind of the beginning of my journey on social media kind of started with Chinese Bridge competition. Have you done it? I have not, no. I cannot say I've done it, so I'm very envious of you. And I've, I've watched your video clip of it though. You, you look absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, I've practiced so hard for that speech. <laughs> I can still remember it. <laughs> so the big question is, obviously Amy is a China expert, but today's quiz is not Amy versus Jack. It's <laughs> Blondie and China's mum versus Yingo Lao Ma, British mum. Who knows the I most about it. China? So, oh, no. Joe, yeah, sure. I've seen you doing videos with Amy over the last year. What's your knowledge of China like? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I've never really been tested on it. I guess I've kind of learned by osmosis from my lovely daughter here. No, um, um you know, not to make you feel scared, Jenny, but Mum has somewhat of a photographic memory, so <laughs> she may not have sat down and studied a book about China, but. I can always guarantee you every little tiny fact I have ever given her about China, she's probably retained. Mum's so smart. But it's not the important stuff. It's all the, you know, the, the silly things that I remember. Geography, forget about it. History, forget about it. Silly stuff, I got it. Yeah. So hopefully you have some silly stuff in the questions today. <laughs> so like how many, <laughs> yeah. Jack, I'm a little bit worried. I, I, I think I'm sorry that we've lost already. <laughs> it's, it's not that you that has to worry. So what I'm going to explain now is the format of this general knowledge quiz, which is there's going to be three sections and mum and Joe, you're going to be answering the question and whoever gets the least amount of questions right, their child, me and Blondie in China, will have to eat a forfeit food. OK, so it's you guys, you guys are being tested, but we get the uh, we get the punishment. We have the punishment. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a win-win, actually. I feel a lot better about this. Yeah. yeah. So, Amy, <laughs> what stinky foods, horrible foods have we got prepared as our forfeit? Let's introduce them now. 
Okay, well, one of the foods that I can't believe that I put my hand up and suggested this food oh. because we were thinking, what should we get? So I suggested we should get some century eggs. Um, yeah, which we've tried many times before. Um, and we've realized we actually kind of like them when they're prepared mm. nicely, like mm. when they've got a nice sauce or a bit of vinegar on them or something. But having them plain is like, I don't know, not the nicest experience. And I'm not a big egg girl, so that's one of the things. Wow. Um, I'll do my best, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've also got fermented tofu, furu, which is a very, very, very strong flavor. Normally, you wouldn't eat it directly, which we will be doing today. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's not something that's going to be very powerful. So I really don't want to eat that. So I hope you get a lot of questions right. <laughs> oh, no oh dear. Right, and our final one, we have got Laogan Ma sauce, which again, you, and by the way, you got us the hottest one. You got us just the pure chili oil. So this isn't even- Oops. So oh yeah, God. you told me to get this one. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So this is basically just gonna be a spoonful of chili. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Can you, what? Amy, what can you eat chili? I don't normally eat spicy that much. I can eat spicy. I can eat spicy, no problem. Um, yeah, I love lao gan ma. Uh, we have like three different varieties in our fridge. Um, yeah, but uh, this one here is basically just the just chili, just chili. Okay. But the one that I like a lot is the 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 one with the beans the bean, inside. The bean. me, yeah, it's so mm. good. You should yeah get your hands on that one. But yeah, it'll be a challenge. It'll yeah. be a challenge. I feel very sorry for you guys. I yeah, really come on, man. <laughs> Before we start, how is your China knowledge? Well, I haven't got a photographic memory, so that's what I'm uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about. I'll do my best, sir. I'll do yeah. my best. So we've also got some extra parts to the quiz, and that is you're allowed to, well, phone a friend, phone your child for one question in each round you've got a lifeline so you can ask joe you can ask amy mum you can ask me and we're not allowed to tell you the answer but we're allowed to give you a hint or a tip okay okay yeah okay okay <laughs> fantastic so yingo lama versus blondie in china's mum china general knowledge quiz food forfeit challenge are we ready to go Bring it on. I'm ready. Absolutely. All right then, guys. So our first section is geography. How is your geography? Oh, well. Okay, be confident because... Geography you know. is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Our first question starts off with an easy one. Is what is the capital of China? Oh. A few moments later. All right then, mums. What are our answers? Beijing. Yay. Well done. Excellent. Right. One point to both of you. Right. <laughs> Question two, mums. Um, name a river in China. Any river. I don't know how to spell it. If you get the spelling wrong, that's fine. Okay. I'm struggling with the spelling here. Me too. That's okay. What that? <laughs> <laughs> <Butcher> that. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's not a writing competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. what are your answers? I've got Yangtze. Yangtze. Well done. You've Yay. both gone for Yangtze River. <laughs> How did you spell it, Jenny? <laughs> Probably better than I did. I've put Y-A-N-G-S-I. Yeah. Oh, that's that funny. Work? Mum's also done a funny one. She, Mum has written Y-A-N-G-S-E-E. -E. <laughs> so Works for me. It's quite Phonetic. a difficult word to spell, isn't it? <laughs> How do we spell, do spell it? it? <laughs> oh, let's. Okay, Jack versus Amy. Okay. Let's see who <laughs> can spell <laughs> Yangtze. <laughs> I think you spell it like oh. like that. It's, okay, so uh, I've gone for. Like I don't know if you can see that. Y A N G T Z E. Oh, so we both got it right. Wait, 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 wait. Let's double check it first. Let's actually. Why? I, I did Y A N G T Z E. Yeah, me too. But 
I yeah, just want to double. Right. We're that's both right, right. aren't we? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well done. Nice. <laughs> All right then, mums, you're doing really well up until now. Both got two points. This question's a little bit harder. First okay. two ones, you've both scored right. So the third question is, can you name three provinces in China? Okay. Oh, I'm going right in there. No. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Um. <laughs> okay, are you using your phone a friend? I'm using my phone a friend. Okay, so I need to give you a hint, do I? Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the university that I went to, oh. to begin with? A few moments later. So, Mum, do you want to read what you got? I got um, Yunnan, yep. Yunnan and Shandong. Wow! <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I already it know the... that, <laughs> It helps that in our videos, when we eat a different cuisine, it usually comes under the name I of the province. province. So, so we have Hunan food, Shandong food, Yunnan food. You know. I have slides that I teach you about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you... <laughs> we've not eaten any food, right? <laughs> well, we know what videos to do in the future. Do you want to say what you've done? I put Heban, but that's not right. And Heban. that's the place where the ice, the winter ice that's festival ha is. Harbin. Harbin. Yeah. Well, I got some yeah. of the letters right. Which is a city in the province. In the north. Heilongjiang. Heilongjiang. Um, okay. And what's Picky your final? Picking. Your final. And my final one is, um, well, I, I don't know what I was putting there. Is Zhejiang. Which is a province. Where, Zhejiang, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's where you jack went to university. <laughs> Should have eaten more food. Yeah. Should have eaten more food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first round goes to Blondie in China and Blondie in China's Yay. mom Jo. Oh. <laughs> mom, are you done to eat century eggs? This is all I oh. cared about. This is all I cared about because Jack, this is what I'm getting you to eat. Oh. Century egg. Oh okay. no. Okay. <laughs> I've been dreading this all day. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I surely do. Do I have to eat all of it? It's huge. No, have a bite, just a bite. Okay. <laughs> Right, so how do I've never actually had one. Do I smash it or what do I do? Well, do I bite? okay, sorry. Don't so eat this. typically people do not eat it like this. This is not people don't walk around eating a century egg. You usually have it with like some vinegar or in like a, a congee or something. So, you know, I just have to put a disclaimer. It's not meant to be eaten like this. But you know what? Let's just approach it like an, a, your, your regular boiled egg. Just do what you can to get that out of casing off. What do you call that? Shell. Shell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've got oh, to say it's it, black. It, it doesn't <laughs> oh, it's black. It doesn't look particularly appetizing. Is it a real egg? It's a century yeah. egg. So where does the I mean, word century come from, Amy? Okay, so it is a myth. It is a legend that it is um, mar not marinate, preserved in urine. People used to think that it was preserved in urine because it has an <laughs> ammonia smell. <laughs> oh, no um, wonder you didn't want it. True. <laughs> no, true. It's oh! True. It's, it's oh! Been, I don't know what's the oh, word it for it stinks. preserved. Okay, I'm, it, um, I'm eating this and then I'm taking it out of the room. Oh my God, it stinks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You ready? Oh God. Oh. So glad. Oh. Okay, it's actually the taste is fine. It's just like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. Do you want to have some of it? No, I feel that like I should also <laughs> suffer because, uh, because <laughs> my I'm sorry, my answers were so poor. I apologize. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm too. It's an experience. It is. It's just the color that's a bit yeah. off putting. It, it doesn't look appetizing, does it? And that looks like jelly. Hey, the things our mums do for us, eh? Oh. Yeah. yeah, Jenny, oh. go, Jenny, go, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's okay, isn't it, actually? It's nice. I, I eat a lot of eggs. Is it a real egg? It's nice. Is, mm -hmm. is it duck egg? It can be made with chicken or duck egg. Um, so I think the ones that I've got may be chicken eggs, but it's 
but they also come in the duck variety. Duck egg, I, this is duck egg, yeah. I don't feel so bad now that I answered the questions so dreadfully. Right guys, so first round is over and Blondie and China's team are winning 1-0. Hope you're gonna bring it back. I'll try. So that I don't have to eat either of these two things. <laughs> So our second round is going to be on... What, Jack? What is the second round going to be on? Who will have to eat furu? Who will have to eat a spoonful of lao gan ma? Find out all of this and more in next week's crazy episode of You Got Lama vs. Blondie and China's Mum, China General Knowledge, Stinky Food Forfeit Challenge. Boom!